for this season for Ms. Herrera's show, we're creating a classic romantic bridal look. And we're playing with tones of rose gold and champagne. So it's inspiration, sort of a floral romantic feel. Flawless skin, and we used brown actually for in the eye to create definition. Sort of an espressos and soft browns versus going cool gray or black. And that way it keeps it a little bit more romantic for spring. There is a theme, uh, it's like a revisited 1940 look. I call it a lip, it's like a lip all around their, their head. It's, uh, it's meant to be a sophisticated idea, modern and simple, because the collection has a lot of uh, laces this year and it wouldn't have been right to, to do something uh, too elaborate, too complicated. And, uh, uh, regularly it's something I recommend anyway because it's not so much about the hair. Uh, the hair has to complement the face of uh, the bride and, uh, and, and the dress. To do a bridal collection is always full of hope, you know? And it's fantasy and it's a dream come true. And I think uh, in every family it's always a star at one point or the other, and that's the bride. And we, I have to make them feel like a real star. And uh, what I'm trying to do here is, a, is sort of a traditional wedding. And no trends, because I don't believe in trends for brides. Every bride wants to feel unique. And at the end, is a traditional way that wins. Because when they go to the, to the church or something like that, they always want a long train, a veil, flowers, a bouquet. And it's a traditional ceremony, let's face it. We see in the other showrooms and, and shows, you know, can be very trend driven, where hers is really sort of a signature look, which is again rich, detailed. So that, uh, that classic American gorgeous bride who's very sophisticated, and I just loved it. Fantastic. They all come to you and say, oh, I want to look like a princess. But where are those that come from? From the fairy tales, from a Sleeping Beauty, from all those beautiful fairy tales, no? And so I try to give them that. So it's not about trends. It's about uh, having a bridal collection that is very sort of traditional, but very modern for today. I think Caroline Herrera is classic, stylish, but then you also have the contemporary look as well that she does so well. Either way, you're certainly going to be timeless, super elegant, and it's just always, always delivers an amazing uh, dream, I think, Carolina. Stunning. I mean, the whimsical play on lace in this collection was overwhelmingly beautiful. There were so many elements for the bride of today, especially from a bride that's looking for a fashion piece. The hand-painted laces, the gorgeous silk file tailored gowns, the intricate embroideries. This is what bridal and the white dress is about. And I think Mrs. Herrera did an incredible presentation to deliver so much versatility to the bride, to give a unique essence to the woman of today. And she does that flawlessly. She is a woman that appreciates art. She's a woman that appreciates fashion and she appreciates very tailored, specific details. All of the collection that she has presented over the years, I really feel that this woman understands beauty on many levels, and she expects to be very unique on her day and make a very specific statement. And in this collection, we saw so many statement pieces. The entire collection was so stunning. I mean, the, the attention to detail. I haven't seen such pretty embroideries that 
that were they were so fine, so refined and so elegant and so bridal too. It didn't it didn't it didn't cross the border of being something, you know, not bridal. It was they were they were they were romantic, they felt young, the shapes were amazing, the necklines, such such diversity in the collection and a feeling of joy and, and sophistication. I think it's so important to not have so much fashion in bridal. You know, bridal's been moving so quickly, so fo following the trends, that by the time the girls get to see, actually see the dresses after the runway presentations many months later, sometimes the fashion is over. But a collection like this is classically beautiful, forever timeless, you know, so Mrs. Herrera, fantastic. And the veil was so stunning too to go with it. I loved it, loved it. I can't wait to have that in my salon, very excited. I did a lot of um, lace. I experimented with lace because I think it's such a feminine um, thing to wear with a bit of lace. So there is hand-painted lace, there is chantilly, there is appliques, there are many, many ways of treating lace for a wedding gown. I used uh, um, silver and gold with lace motifs and uh, the hand-painted lace is one of my favorite treatments. It's a way of using, experimenting with the lace in a very whimsical way, and uh, I'm very happy with it. They are very light, but very grand at the same time, because they are some sort of ball, you know, skirts, very big. But I think the bride wants to feel that way because since they are very small little girls, they're always dreaming about the wedding day. I have seen the other day, I saw a little girl at eight, eight years old or something like that who say, I don't know, but I'm going to get married very soon because I want to wear one of those huge dresses. <laughs> the bride has to feel very beautiful in it, no? I'm in the beauty business, I want to make them look more beautiful. So I think uh, it's a sort of sophistication, sort of that they have to feel well in it, and they have to feel the personality of the girl who's going to wear it. And it's not about trends, it's about making the bride look like a real star.